Hey, what's up guys? Zinti again. Uh, this time I'm just making a short uh, Sidious tutorial. Uh, I've read a few people having some issues with this. Not, not as many issues uh, as with Jen. But there was still a few people, so I decided why not. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole fight, just because the second half of the fight is just hitting his beard essentially area ad nauseum. So the set I used when I originally did this was this, the low set. Um, and I had a gem so it went from attack up medium to attack up large. Um, I mean and it was all low rank parts obviously. So what I'm gonna do is to try to mitigate uh, some of the power, especially with also the weapon, because I use, I'm using the same weapon, which is what, the Neo Undertaker at this point, because it's fully upgraded. I only had it upgraded once, maybe twice, uh, when I originally did this. So what I've done in an effort to try to, uh, take away some of my stats is I equipped the Ingot, uh, arms and the Helios, uh, Greaves, and so what that's done is removed... Uh, attack up, attack, I don't have attack at all. Attack up L, M, or S. I switched those out and took my charm off to try to get uh, my attack power closer to what it was when I originally did it. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to eat, um, but I am actually going to take a uh, potion, so I, just so I can get my health up. And I was just uh, fighting him. I just did a, a practice run. So I'll just take um, a max potion. And we'll store these as well. And then so what you're going to bring with you uh, is also going to be pretty simple. Very similar to the gen fight. So let's take a look. Um, I'm, you won't have to take the max potion if you're going to be eating. I'm not going to be eating because I don't want to take any extra defense or attack because it'll uh, make my run, it'll mess up my run. I'll be too powerful. I'm already going to be too powerful as it is. But, um, so wet stones, oxygen, uh, some meat, although you're only going to really be able to eat one before you dive in, but I like to eat one right away because they last longer, at least I feel like they last longer than rations or drinks. Uh, and then I'm just taking this, like I said, because uh, I want my health up, but without eating. And then generally, I think the first time you have to bring uh, Chacha or Kayamba with uh, the mask, the, like the ancient mask. Um, but later you won't ha you won't have to if you don't want to. And I just bring ten oxygen. I just don't think there's a point uh, to deal with the mask and trying to signal him over and then hoping he gets there. So it's just easier to bring oxygen. You can just straight out buy them and we can just hit start to skip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take everything. Uh, I might as well if it's there. Uh, I take the paintballs even though I don't use them just so I can take, and the same with the far caster. I take both of those just so I can have them afterwards because those are items you'll be able to keep. So I'll eat that in lieu of eating actual food and then I'll eat a steak. And then, I'll jump right in. And so this first part, I'm just going to concentrate on attacking his beard. And try to break that off as quick as possible. I really hate his little fins there. I always get, oh my gosh, I always get hit by him. And I'm, a, I'm generally a, a GS user, but I found, and really it was in large part, in large thanks to the, to the demo, that underwater I really prefer the lances, gun lance and the regular lance. Uh, the, the maneuverability is just so much better, I feel like, than the GS underwater. It just feels a little unwieldy. I mean, in Try, I only use the GS, and so it's... It's been kind of a whole new experience to use the lance as well, which has been fun. But yeah, I, I vastly prefer it underwater, and so I might even suggest that to some of you guys out there to maybe use a different weapon underwater if you're if you're struggling with underwater fights. And so far, things are not off to a great start. I've been I keep getting hit. 
but we'll break it. It's not a, it's, it's no big thing. Oh man, what happened to my depth perception there? Who knows? Oh, just get up there. Also, I just love the stab, 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 just hop, stab, stab, stab. It's very satisfying. Oh my gosh, let me go past you. Yeah, definitely one of the more boring fights in the game, so it sucks if um, you're, in, you're just having trouble with it because it's... It's long and it's like not even that fun. So there's really, it's kind of a lose lose. And I know with the Lance, at least, like the upward thrust is slightly slower but also slightly more powerful than the forward thrust. And you can choose, I mean, I'm not sure, I'm sure someone out there has got data uh, about which one's better, if the speed of this uh, straightforward thrust ends up being better over time. Uh, I don't know, I, I end up kind of switching back and forth. Right now I'm just doing a bunch of the upward thrusts. Yeah, the camera gets all kinds of funky in this fight, because you're going to be all up in his grill the whole time. And that stupid fin. I suck. go ahead and sharpen because yellow sharpness is pretty disgusting. It's not a it's not a happening thing to have. Man oh man. Oh and oxygen. Yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention when I started that's um, a pretty good idea is if you have a lot of uh, like materials to trade with the Argosy Captain, I would highly recommend if you're struggling with this fight to trade and get 10 underwater ballista ammo um, and bring, well, cause you can, I'm pretty sure you can only carry 10. All right, and there goes his beard. So now he's just going to beeline uh, straight through all the way to three. <clears throat> but yeah, if, uh, if you've got some materials to trade and you can start with 10 underwater ammo, that's really going to just speed things up in the second part of the fight. 
because you won't have to immediately gather. You'll be able to just start shooting right away, which is great. And so now that his beard's broken, he's going to try to beeline, but I'm still going to try to hit him. And like I said, his weak spot uh, is going to be right here, but also um, his tail, like down, he like the end of his tail, that's also a weak spot. But I've, I've found in my experience, it's so hard to hit. Uh, it just wiggles around so much that I, I don't even attempt it. I attempted it a, few, a little bit and try, but I, I gave up on that very quickly. It's just uh, more trouble than it's worth, I feel like. I mean, he's by me like this, you know, I'll, I'll go for a few hits. But that's just because he's swimming so fast, I'm not going to be able to catch up to him. So before we go in, I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen. And we'll load into zone 2. And then zone 2 is just following him to zone 3. And you can break um, also that hood, like on on top of his beard, the the parts that protrude out, as well as his tail. It's a lot easier to break them with um, the ballista. But throughout the course of the fight, if you're concentrating on that area, um, the area around his hood and beard, like his neck area, you're probably at some point going to break that hood. I don't know what else to call it. that's what it's always been referred to in all the things I've read online. Get a few extra hits in. And we're almost to three. Try to get a few some hits in here as well. sharpen I'm gonna start this next area fresh I like trying to get in a little bit before him or because right here you'll be able to control before the cutscene happens so down here are rations if you need them right when you start so first thing I do is I'm gonna swim right up here okay so here's the cutscene we can just skip that so right past him I'm gonna swim straight to this ballista and start gathering immediately I don't care what he does and this has always been my strategy fighting him and the Dragonator is right there, as you can see. So I'm just going to come up. I don't care if he shoots at me or does anything. I'm just going to start getting that ammo. And we can keep an eye on him. He'll probably come over here. Uh, I think he secretly knows what I'm doing. And he doesn't want to get shot in the face. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing, is shooting him in the face. Because we want to break those horns, and the ballistas do an absolutely great job. I don't think I've ever gone through this fight without breaking his horns off. It's just, they're just, they're, I guess their durability is not that high. Alright, well that's all the spots there. So sometimes he's like this and he's so close, and it's just lame. If he's gonna be like that, you can just go up. If you're not getting a good shot, I'm just go up and poke him a bit. Hit him with your weapon until he moves. Uh, 
let's see if we can't get a shot now. And where did he go? There we are. I really hate when they get in the way. Uh, and he's going towards the Dragonator, so we'll make our way there. We don't want to miss that. So he's going to come up here, and you can just eyeball it right about now sounds good. And I was a little late, but look, it still broke his horns. It's just, he's weak sauce. So I'm going to come back here and finish my ammo on this side. And he's just reeling there, so why not? And even though his horns are broken, I'm still going to try to aim for his face slash neck. You got hit, doesn't matter. I mean, if you're taking more damage, just take the time to heal. And last shot. Alright. So now, uh, after that, sometimes he won't come and I'll use a Dragonator now. Um, but it doesn't matter, we already used it. So now I'm just going to swim over to this other Ballista spot. And just gather these guys. And hopefully there's 10 here. Sometimes you get less. But it is what it is. And he's coming over because he knows what I want to do to him. And that's it, huh? Seven. down way too fast. Okay. So now that I'm out, at this point the rest of the fight is extremely straightforward. What I try to do is just stay right on his this, his neck beard. I try to destroy his neck beard as much as possible. And um, that's it really. I mean he's gonna hit you, he'll scream. Just try to dodge his water shots when it happens. There's just really not a lot uh, to say. So I'm probably going to end the tutorial here in just a second. Um, I, would, I, I ran through a few runs before I started recording and I got him every time. I mean, I've, I, I can't remember the last time I failed him. I mean, it was in try. Maybe the first couple times I did it. Um, but at this point, like you can try to dodge so you don't get hit. And they give you some null berries. You can bring more if you want. I don't, but if you get hit with that water status, you can just eat a null berry. But yeah, you're just gonna try to stay by his beard and just slice away, or his face, his one eye, and just keep hitting him, keep hitting him. And at the very least, you should repel him easily. Um, and it's possible that you could even kill him. I mean, now. Uh, thanks to my weapons being upgraded and stuff, I, I kill him on my first attempts all the time. But anyway, that was it. It's a, kind of a shorter tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.